Hello, it's me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yes, another Wednesday, and this is uh, a special 13th day of December. And today we celebrate a memorial of St. Lucy. St. Lucy, who, uh, who is a, a, a virgin and also was uh, martyred maybe around the beginning of the fourth century. Not, not a lot is known about her. It's just known, it's known that uh, apparently there were uh, people who wanted to marry her, but she wanted to dedicate. She had already dedicated her life to Christ, so, and that may have been part of the reason she was uh, haunted and, and, and killed, you know, uh, killed as a martyr somebody who wanted to commit her life to Christ. There's also, you know, some legends, you know, somebody, one of the stories goes that she blinded herself in order to deter her attackers. So they are all kind of stories. And no, no wonder uh, St. Lucy, of course itself, when you go back to Latin, uh, uh, looks lucius, uh, light. So she her name also implies that light, and so she's a patroness for those who are afflicted with diseases of the eye. And also, there are um, festivals of light associated with her, especially in some European countries. And so today, as we celebrate her in these uh, dark days of, the, of, of, of winter, uh, you know, more, there's more dark hours as we enter more and more deeper into the winter, it is good, to really, to celebrate somebody who represents light, and more than just light, but represents the light of Christ. Of course, part of the reason today I, I, I celebrate even more, or we celebrate even more here at Resurrection, is because St. Lucy is one of the four relics we have at the, at the foot of our altar, right behind me here. And also back behind me is the, our uh, Advent wreath. And those lights too, those lights as we light each candle, we are reminded of that light which came long ago, but also reminded of that light that will come again, but that light is all, that is still with us. That's part of the mystery of Advent. We are uh, looking forward to one who came long ago, and soon we'll look forward to celebrating that first coming. But today, we think about St. Lucy, and as uh, really not only these lights of the Advent wreath, the candles of the light, Advent wreath that kind of bring some joy of light, the light of Christ that is already within us. But I think even out there when you go driving in the night, in the, in the evenings, and see the decorations that people have, there's a sense of awakening that comes to, at least to me, as I drive through the neighborhoods and see the lights. And I know, we, we know, we believe that those lights are up because of Christ. You know, if it wasn't Christmas, if it wasn't his birth, his first coming, I don't know whether people would be interested in decorating their homes with light. So that's a great uh, awakening in, into this season of Advent when we see those lights. But if you need even more awakening during this season of Advent, this Friday here at the parish, this Friday the 15th at 7.30 in the evening, we have an Advent evening of reflection. And it will be an evening with music and reflection. We, uh, from what I know, we have uh, over 75 musicians and instrumentalists who are going to help us reflect and pray and have, find the joy of Christ. We, or at least reflect on that presence and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ as we continue this season of Advent. So please come join us on Friday at 7.30 for that Advent evening of reflection. Also today, as we think about and pray for the intercession of St. Lucy, definitely we pray for those who are struggling with diseases uh, or afflictions of the eye. But let us also pray for ourselves. This light we talk about, the light that is Christ, reminds us of the Lord who lights our way, not only in this life, but also lights our way to the life that he promises, the life to come. He promised to come again, and actually these early days of Advent are remind, reminding, remind us to watch, to prepare, to prepare the way of the Lord who is to come again. And soon and very soon, we'll also prepare to celebrate that first coming. But that light, which is to come, has already come. That light is with us. And so we pray for the intercession of St. Lucy, that indeed that light may continue to shine within us, 
that our eyes may continue to not only experience the light of Christ, but also perhaps as we live our lives, that others too may experience and see that light within us, that they may continue to follow the Lord. But especially, yes, we pray that St. Lucy may intercede for us, that the light that shone within her life and strengthened her to resist any temptation and remain faithful to Christ may also continue to shine within our hearts. And especially now in Advent as we wait for his second coming and also look forward to celebrating that first coming at Christmas. Brothers and sisters, love because you are loved. Amen.